Welcome, this is the uh, Tennessee Algebra 2 and of course practice test. Question number 61. The question says the mileages of vehicles in the government fleet are normally distributed with a mean of 60,000 miles and a standard deviation of 8,000 miles. If a vehicle from the fleet is randomly selected, which is the closest to the probability that the mileage is greater than 44,000? Now the important thing that they give you here is that they tell you that it's normally distributed. Now if you look up into your, I'm going to try to get there, if we look up into our um, formulas pages and I go to this section here it actually gives us a normal curve distribution which was kind of nice of them so this is a normal curve distribution this is the mean line so for us if you remember back that would be 60,000 then this is standard deviation 1 and it tells me that the distance between standard deviation one at the low end and the high end would be about 68 percent of all data which makes a lot of sense visually the second set I missed the line there sorry um, the second set which would be two, two standard deviations above or below would give you something like 95 percent and if we do a look at the third standard deviation out, we're looking at about 99.7% of all data. So let's go back to our question and see if we can use this to figure out what the answer is. I'm going to click onto the correct page, hopefully. There we go. It says the mileages of the vehicle in the government fleet are distributed with a mean of 60,000 miles, standard deviation of 8,000, which means each time I go out to a line, I'm going to add or subtract 8,000 depending on which direction that I go. So I guess I should figure out where 44,000 miles actually is. If I did 60,000 minus 8,000, this one should be somewhere around 52,000 miles. And if I went 8,000 down, uh, another 8,000 down, I'm looking at uh, 44,000. So this line right here, two standard deviations away, is 44. The question asks, which is the closest to the probability that the mileage is greater than 44,000 miles? So what I'm looking for is anything greater than that amount, which is, you know, whatever it is, it is. Now it tells me that 95% of my um, data falls between the two standard deviations. So this whole section is 95. I'm going to use that data as a starting off point. So as you can see in your answers, A and B are not the answers because anything greater, I'm looking at everything above this 44,000 line. What I need to do is make sure that I don't get trapped in that because there's this whole section here of data and it tells me that um, so that basically anything above that 95% mark uh, I'm going to divide into two parts so if I did 95 the reason what I'm doing by the way right now is I'm taking this section and this section which would be 100 minus 95 which gives you 5% which means I need to subtract about uh, I need to divide that section into two parts so one of these will be worth this they'll be worth the same thing so this is about 2.5% this is worth 2.5%. So what I'm going to do is tag that 2.5% onto the end, and I end up with 97.5, which looks suspiciously like 98. And even if you didn't do that math part, you could, if you thought about it logically, the one they're trying to get you to bite at is the C, but it's not the right answer. Um, the issue is you, you know that there's got to be more above this number because there's more written here. So just make sure you add something onto that 95%, and then you should be fine. That's a normal distribution. It helps that they give you a normal distribution curve. So you use your formulas page when you can, and I think it'll be of great benefit.